Hey everyone and thanks for watching. I'm Simon, Flight Sim Simon and uh, if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Um, it really helps me out. But today what I want to do is show you how I've got the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and the PMDG 737 working pretty perfectly. Um, with one, well, no there's two little issues one the TCAS doesn't work um, it spots you as a as traffic so just turn it to TA instead of TA RA and, and you won't get the annoying announcements and two there's a couple of artifacts on the wings of lights which you can't get rid of but who cares the rest of it works everything works just fine um, so a couple of things we need to do first of all okay so there's two routes to this first things first if you've got 2020 already installed you just need to copy your aircraft and your liveries from one community to another and I'll find my PMDG it's in here somewhere so your 738 and the 738 liveries and if you've got the Boris sound set that as well just copy that to your 2024 community folder and then you will have it in the sim don't just launch it and go to a gate because it won't work at that stage I'll talk to you about what we do with that in a minute now what do you do if you haven't got 2020 installed well first of all you need to own the aircraft so you should have the PMDG um, folder somewhere if you haven't and you need to install it I'll show you how so you're going to need the PMDG Operation Centre and you're going to need to install the aircraft. But if you try and install, install the aircraft and you haven't got 2020, you're going to get an error message back saying that it can't find the simulator. So what we need to do is trick PMDG into thinking that you've got 2020 installed. And how we do that is quite simple. If you click the Windows key and R and then a percentage app data percentage, you will open up your app data roaming file. What we're going to do is we're going to create a folder called Microsoft Flight Simulator as such. You're then just going to copy your config file from 2024 into this folder. That is it. PMDG will now install to your community folder for 2024 the PMDG. Not only that, when you then run the operations center, you will see your aircraft and you will see all of the liveries that you want. It's as simple as that. Um, and then you can download, if I install this one, it will go straight into my community folder in 2024 because adding that file into the app data roaming tricks it and that user config file has the location of your community folder and it reads that to do it and all that wonderful stuff okay so you should have this installed now and again if you use the Boris sound set you are absolutely fine to use that put that in your community folder as well that will work absolutely fine so let's fast forward into the sim and let's talk about what we need to do. Okay, so you've loaded your simulator. We're just going to go into start as normal. Into free flight. There she is. We're just simply going to go in, type 737. Into here, we find the PMDG. And we can configure this in terms of liveries. The way the layout is done is pretty weird. So you've got all of your house in here and a Jet 2. But if I go to liveries, I've then got the Jet 2 and I've got the Ryanair or whichever ones you, you've added in. Okay, next really important part is that we spawn to the runway, the active runway make sure my live conditions are set just for my own preference don't worry you will be starting at the gate the cold and dark but if you don't do this the WASM files don't load and it, the, the aircraft is in up so you must 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 spawn onto the runway now there's been a, quite a few videos out there saying this just works at the gate it doesn't don't waste your time 
Now there's a couple of things you've got to do. Now I've been working with this for quite some time. What people will say is, you just set it cold and dark now and go to the gate. That doesn't work. What you need to do is hold down, mine's cold and dark at the minute as you'll see. I'm going to hold down the menu, I'm going to go into PMDG, I'm going to go to my state and I'm just going to go to click the right button for a start would be helpful. Uh, menu, PMDG, load state and I'm going to go to run wait. I'm going to execute it. I'm just going to wait for a thing to come up. Now bearing in mind my parking brake won't be set at the minute so let's just set that otherwise I'm going to start rolling. Now the mistake people do is now move to the gate. That won't work. Or well, it may work but you may have trim wheel issues or control issues when you take off. You'll need to wait for your screens. What I found was set the state of runway again and then in a second your screens come to life. At this point you go to GSX choose your gate, you just walk me there, you're going to go back to PMDG, you're going to load the state and you're going to go cold and dark. And you are now ready to fly. Everything will work other than the TCAS. Now, if you're flying on VATSIM, make sure you manually select Mode Charlie and you just select on your TCAS TA, not T, not TARA. You want to see if I can zoom in on that a bit better. TA only, not TARA. So you will see the other traffic around you, but you'll get no um, alerts. And then, secondly, I mentioned, I don't know if you'll see it in the daytime, I might just need to change this to night time. Um, there seems to be some weird artifacts on the wing of reflections that seem to show. I'll probably need to put all the lights on for you to see, actually. They're not showing up at the minute. You'll see once it's running, you get two artifacts each side of the wing, which seem to be reflections of these windows, which aren't right, and it looks a bit saft. But apart from that, everything else is perfectly fine. Um, just to show that, I'll go in and do a little bit of setup. Um, people were saying they couldn't get the IRS to align. I'll show you. So we'll pop on here. We will pop the panel lights on. Pop the battery on pop the emergency lights on. Oop, what have I just done? I wanted shift 7, not on that one. So we'll pop this onto a line. Because you followed the process I showed you, you'll see that the lights come on. Now before, if you spawn at the gate, those lights just stay on and nothing happens, but you'll notice in a second they'll flash. That wasn't happening before, and then you'll notice you will align perfectly. Your screens will come on. Just take a few moments for the screens to come to life and you'll be ready to go. Screens probably take about 30 seconds to come to life. Um, what we can do as well very quickly go to here. Now the other thing, do not, do not, do not, do not update your nav data via the hub, Microsoft hub. You need to come on to here and click reinstall till you've got the latest version installed. The map does flicker a little bit. It's like the Phoenix does that as well. Um, that's just until that's updated, that's just a problem. We'll in import this nav. We'll go down to our FMC. I could do with some lights on, couldn't I? Really? I don't know what I'm doing here. They're here somewhere. There they are. Okay, so pause data just to show that I wasn't making it up. The IRS does align.
there you go, you're now aligned. I can then go into route, request plant, farm sim brief, set my payload, set my fuel, set the route. load just want to show you it's all working um, other reports where you couldn't see the lights externally before so there you go you can see perfectly there's your nav lights and there's your beacon so all your lights are working absolutely fine If you find a light isn't working just turn it off and turn it on and it will be fine um, let's go back down and activate our route and then we'll see everything is loaded absolutely fine and you will be fine I've, I've done four or five flights on this now in, in 2024 um, absolutely fine absolutely perfect no issues whatsoever so happy flying um, if you come across anything um, that I've missed Feel free to drop it in the comments, but um, you know, as an avid flight simmer, I love this aircraft and I just wanted to fly it. I'm just really pleased because PMDG are working on their cash cow of the 777 and they've dropped the 737 to the back of the queue. This gives you a short term in um, until um, and hopefully it's a workaround until the actual aircraft is in the sim. Um, not perfect but it works you can fly it you can fly it comfortably and enjoy it again until such time as PMDG um, invest and get this up into 2024 so uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I have some more useful videos for you in the near future take care see ya